The polystyrene panels are always installed from left to right. Use only SureTouch stainless steel screws and anchors. Do not place the panels directly on the starter strips or the foundation. Always leave a minimum space of a quarter inch and a maximum of three-eighths of an inch. Apply a urethane acoustic sealant behind the last panel at the top of the wall. This joint will limit the circulation of air between the panel and the wall. Attach all of the polystyrene panels to the studs using a SureTouch stainless steel anchor and screw at least every two square feet. To achieve this ratio on a structure at 16 inch center to center, the anchors should be spaced to a maximum of 19 inches apart vertically and should be all screwed into studs. The vertical edges of the polystyrene panels do not have to be aligned with the stud centers. Attach the anchors at the bottom of a cell so that the prongs are visible under the stones or bricks once they are inserted. When the mortar is injected, these prongs will sit on the mortar joint and hold the cladding firmly to the structure. To turn a 90 degree outside corner, make two vertical 45 degree cuts on the back of the panel. The cuts must be made at 45 degrees for the polystyrene cells to hold the corner units firmly in place. To determine where to make the 45 degree cuts at the back of the panel, mark your first measurement, short point, and transfer this measurement five grooves over for the second 45 degree cut. This is the same principle as for baseboard trim used inside a house. For an inside corner, cut a section of panel A at a right angle, 90 degrees, so that it fits properly all the way to the edge of the wall. Once fastened in place, remove two and a half inches of the edge of the cells along the corner. Join part B of the panel to part A. You can install all of the polystyrene panels without installing all of the fasteners using a level for each panel. For the Morency or Durham stone panels, if you plan to cover all the walls of the house, start over the upper right corner of the door in the back of the house. The offset for the Morrissey stone panels is 10 inches up and to the right. Reference numbers are provided on the front and back of each panel. Male and female keys are located on the sides to assist installation. On the back of the panel, there are also lines every 10 inches to assist the cutting of the panel strips. If the short touch cladding is installed on the facade and runs around both sides of the house for a few feet, Proceed as follows. Go around the corner with the polystyrene for a minimum distance of 12 inches and use a jade trim to hide the edge of the polystyrene. For installing the cladding only on the facade, cut a 2 inch strip of polystyrene from the left of the panel. The stone installed will hide the extremity of the adjacent wall. When installing the stones, you will have to fasten the units along this edge with drops of glue to prevent them from coming off. At the top of a wall, the panel should be cut so as to leave a few inches so that eventually the SureTouch cladding can be extended a little into the attic space. Then the soffits can rest against it. The cut pieces can be used elsewhere, respecting the numbers that appear at the front of the panel boards. If you plan to cover all of the walls of the house with Durham stone, refer to video 5.1 of the Morency panel, considering its installation is identical. However, the offset for the Durham panels is a quarter sheet up from left to right. Reference numbers 1 to 4 are provided on the front and back of each panel. Male and female keys are located on the sides to facilitate installation. On the back of the panel, there are also lines every quarter sheet for cutting panel strips. If the SureTouch cladding is installed on the facade and runs around both sides of the house, proceed to video 5.1 of the Morency panel. For installing the cladding only on the facade, 
Cut a 2 inch strip of polystyrene from the left of the panel. For the concrete brick and the clay brick panels, the installation principles are the same. They are installed horizontally so that the vertical joints of the panels are offset a little, as in the case of drywall panels. Check the level with a straight line marked on the walls all around the building and correct as needed. At the bottom of walls, Always leave a space between the base of the panels and the starter strip, or the foundation. This space must be at least as wide as the other mortar joints. 